Hi guys, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of real-time work on this piece that I'm working on. I've been working on it for quite some time, but I'm making progress little by little. Um, I uh, am working on the hair here with the polychromos. I've um, gone in and done a lot of the color um, in some portions, but right here what I'm doing is just taking my indigo blue and that's what I've done the whole tonal drawing in um, before adding color and I'm just going back and I'm adding uh, more contrast and um, hoping to get the hair to flow a little better in spots by adding gaps and um, not focusing too much on strands but more like clumps to get the overall feeling of uh, flowiness and uh, as you can see it takes some time to get in there and do all this but all those little details help make it more realistic I like to uh, turn the pencil a lot to keep the tip sharp longer and uh, like to get rid of all the little um, little bits of texture that you see that's in the tooth of the paper by just going over and over it. Sometimes I'll blend that out with, um, with a dry paintbrush to kind of get it into the cracks of the paper. Um, and sometimes I'll um, burnish it in by pressing harder if I know I'm not going to need to go over that portion anymore because once you burnish by pressing real hard with a pencil and really blending that into the paper, you smash the tooth of the paper and it won't accept um, any more layers, really. So here I'm just kind of piecing it out, making sure there's some interest to different spots and making things look like they're curling around and giving her some wave in her hair. Um, this is the first voiceover I'm doing so it's a little awkward for me but uh, if it's something that you guys want to see more of go ahead and comment and um, I'll try to add in little tips and techniques and stuff um, on some of these videos I'm gonna try to get more videos posted more often and make sure to make some more time for all this kind of thing so thanks for watching and have a good one.